You see? Okay. I'm uh -huh. a... Alright, that's Brady. I'm uh -huh. you know, recording. Oh, sorry. It's alright. It's alright. So there's that where you got your name from? Uh -huh. yeah, I'm the fifth Ellen. I'm the fourth Ellen. It's Cassie's funny. the fifth Ellen. Uh, and, uh, it's funny, there was a person. Aubrey is the sixth Ellen because her name's Aubrey Mary Ellen. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you did a good job getting for you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're only going to be seeing me, y'all, but don't expect me to be talking. All right, now we're going to Barnesville, right? Yeah, have time. Oh, oh, yeah, we've got time. And if we don't, if I don't break the suspension on this dirt road of a driveway. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is kind of sad when you realize the last time it was the church had any kind of um, gathering under its original name was 40 years ago. Yeah. And it was a year after the last person who, in your family who attended passed. Okay. Wait. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm okay. waiting. He goes, you can go hit it. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right, now on to Barnesville. Yes. All right, Mother. That's, I did what I could do, okay? <laughs> Sorry the visit only took 50 years. That's all right. Well, I just, I, I found this when I was doing Ancestry. And <laughs> I meant to come over here, but I just never thought about doing it. Because I Good couldn't time remember time. exactly where the church was. Yeah, it'd probably help if you got your seatbelt yeah. on. Now that we know... Mm -hmm. It's about 201 miles. Yeah. Point one. Okay. When we get to Barnesville, we'll get gas. I don't know if we may have enough to get there. Well, it's like 13 miles. We got plenty of gas. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I'm pretty sure that was Rocha. We would need Barnesville, them. Georgia. Don't bother looking up the depot. It's not going to show up. Okay. Unless you know, because that site that they took down was the only, that had all the list of railroad depots was the only one you had to go off of. And the only way you can access it now is by going on a site called Wayback Machine and then putting the website name, you know, www.railgeorgia.com, that sort of thing. I think if you go in Chrome, I have it saved on there. I could be wrong. I don't remember. We're eight minutes out of Barnes. Yeah, so in that case, there's really no point. We'll just just have to find the railroad tracks if there's any left. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited that we found the church. Yes. I really need to get those notifications taken off because, like, that's the thing that's distracting. If I could get them off, then usually it helps. By the way, to my Second sister, thank you for the steering wheel cover. It yes. Helps a bunch. So the town of Milner is that way. So this is just part of Milner proper. Okay. <laughs> How small is Milner? I've it's never... teeny tiny. It's not big at all. <laughs> I've never even heard of the town until today. Okay. The reason I want you to turn the lights off is it runs the battery down and we didn't want to be sitting there with the dead battery <laughs> in the church parking lot and have to flag somebody down on the highway. So that's why I told you to turn the lights on. You do realize that as long as the engine's running it, and imagine it charges the battery. It does, but if you get out and leave the lights on, turn the truck off and leave the lights on, and you run the battery. Okay, down. well, I don't know. How, look, I don't want to get ticked off. You know, okay. I get ticked off. No, I, I just, I don't even know how long the battery would last. It's a fairly large battery, so I'd imagine it lasts for a while. Yeah, six years, about six years. No, I'm saying before it goes dead? Yeah, six years. It, it charges itself uh, when you're driving. But okay. that's why I said if you stop and you get out and you leave the lights on or you leave, you turn it to auxiliary to run the air conditioner, all that drains the battery. And by the way, I hope you realize, but I didn't know it until glancing down, we were going at 65. So... This is why I don't do interstates. It's because once I end up getting used to going that fast, it's hard for me to go back down to It's hard for anybody to. That's why I told you when Miss Gale and I are splitting driving. Look, oh, one of us drives the interstate, the <laughs> other drives the road. Because one time she drove and 
we were on the interstate and then we got up on one of these roads. She's going 70 miles an hour. I said, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> she said, well, it seems like we're just creeping along. <laughs> I need to tell her I now know exactly what that feels like. So now. 55 feels like 40. Yes. Yeah, so now. In a way. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. One of us drives the interstate. One of us drives the roads. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine her saying that to like a cop or something. That'd be bad. But also rather humorous. If I were in the cop shoes, I probably would have chuckled, but I still would have let her, I, I still would have warned her. Well, I just cannot get over the fact that Gene was buried back there. That they brought, but they did, they would have brought his body home because it was Vietnam. But he got off the plane one day and was killed the next. 1968, so he was 18 years old. 19 years old. That's a shame. It is a shame. Like, what made him go and sign up? Uh, every, he graduated from high school and decided he wanted to go in the Army. And so he signed up. And that way... He uh, probably wouldn't have had he, any. Wait a minute. He might have been drafted. Because they, 68, he might have been drafted. Because that was like in the heat of the fighting. Yeah, but he might have been drafted. Because that's, I think they started the lottery. 68. So now is that because they were running out of troops? No, they were trying to pacify families who did not want their kids to go. So instead of doing a blanket draft, <laughs> they went to a lottery, and uh, when they drew your number, you yeah. knew if you were in uh, like the low th up to the three hundreds, you were gone. And uh, so that may have happened. That may. What have do been they mean by pacify? Them? I mean, is it like they had made it to where you? The person didn't have a any damn choice whether right. they wanted to go or not. Right. Uh -huh. Well, that's stupid. Right. No, we want to go downtown, so we want to go this way. We don't want to do the bypass. We want to go downtown. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, and so that was it. Wonder what they felt. Wonder how mad they were at the army for basically sending him to die. Really? Well, now, with the draft, it was the same thing. You had to, you had to go. Well, they were in school. That's why we have some men lawyers. Like well, I mean, it's like the thing is now is like I'm pretty sure he didn't know he was going to get killed. I don't no. think that nobody can figure that no, out. No. But I mean, he got off the plane and dead the next day. That just that was just broken. He was the youngest of all Sissy's children. Sissy had lots of children. and rain. That's what this drive is. Yes. That's it. Yeah, I uh, deleted a bit of the uh, that other drive footage from right. Juliet to Jackson. I saved the part of the film. I saved the bit of the film where I caught the train, but other than that, the rest is gone. Okay. So. Barsville. Well, I'm back from Barsville. Barsville used to be a teeny tiny town. And the Gordon College is here. We had a lot of kids from Oak Park County go to Gordon College. A lot of girls play softball. They had a, they have a really good girls softball team. Water treatment plant. Mm -hmm. I swear I'm getting deja vu because I saw another one like that somewhere. Well, they're all, that's pretty much the standard with the way they were built. 50s? Yeah, but I haven't been to Barnesville, gosh, in 60, probably 60 years. Now, is that, I'm guessing the last time you were there was probably the last time the last few members of your family were you lived down here were still around, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, tell, I don't know. Did you ever come back in like the 80s at all? No. Uh -uh. No, I haven't been back to that cemetery since I was like 12 or 13 years old. And that's a shame. Because every time we would come to Griffin to visit, we'd always have to come to the cemetery. And then when I was about 13 or 14 years old, I didn't have to go anymore. And they'd go stand around and everybody cry. Mm. And they'd talk okay. about you know, all the people. I like the two colors on each of these houses, oh, the yeah. green and the blue. Uh -huh. So the question is, where is the depot? Uh -huh. I'm tempted to put... Well, we're headed downtown, so... Well, I don't know if the railroad tracks are still coming through here, for because, you know, for all I know, they could be gone. Yeah, well, we'll just keep going through. 
Hello, officer. How are you doing? Well, let's get out of this neighborhood before we... It's not... Oh, for God's sakes. It's not that sketchy. And besides, as you say, it's during the daytime. Right. Mm -hmm. well, let's just write it. We're in the historic district, and I imagine they just have a main street. Which is up here? I think so. Probably where the red light is. Okay. There's, there's probably a sign for, like, the gallery. Yeah. Oh, well, I take that back regarding the no, tracks. I believe we found the railroad tracks. Okay. Which means the depot is somewhere nearby. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be beside the tracks. I don't know if it was moved or not. But That's it, yeah. I can't tell. You just keep going. Okay. Well, it's easy to see because you're the Oh, yeah, it's a cheap little town. Oh, there's now. the depot. There's the depot, yeah. It's a cheap little town. Oops, now. oops, 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 oops. It was just a park. Yes. I don't know if this counts as a parking space. Well, we'll, we'll go and take it. Good. Now, I'm sure the gallery is closed. I know, but there's this nice southern caboose. Yeah, you can do that here. Got it. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Oh, and then there's that barrel. Oh, oh it, it is. Boy, they've done a good... Well, it's because the college is here. Yes. Look at the mural on the end of that barrel. I know. I just, I just saw it. Oh, yeah. This is a <laughs> cute little town. 